just, the relationship just toxic. Toxic? Yeah, no good at all. Was it, were there children involved, do you know, or were there just between those two, or do you know if they have children together? Well, they don't have children together, period. Okay. So, it was just a toxic relationship, what you was, know? What was he that like guns? when you heard? I mean, police said he had a firearm at the time that this happened. Did he carry guns a lot? Ah, uh, not that I know of. What, what do you hear? know that, yeah, what do you know? Well, I got a call when I was at the doctor's office that my son was shot, that it was taped off. So I was very concerned, was he dead or not? So I called my sister to come to the scene. What's your son's name? His name is Rodell Garmony. Rodell, can you spell that? Yeah, R-O-D-D-A-L-E. And Garmony? Yes, G-A-R-M-A-N-Y. And how old is he? How old is he? 27. Does he have any pro uh, run-ins with the law prior to this? Does he ever have any problems with the police before this? Probably so. Yeah. Can you tell us what he was doing here today? Well, he lived there with her. So, but they always had some kind of, some kind of toxic fighting going on. He's going to jail. She calling the law on him. But he always was back there. He was always back there. How long have they been together? How long was their relationship together? Ah, uh, probably two years. What, what's mm -hmm. your name, ma'am? Lanita. Spell it for me, please. L A N I T A. And your last name? Garmany, G A R M A N Y. And what do you know about your son's condition? Is he okay? Is he going to be okay? Ah, uh, yes. Hopefully he will. Hopefully he will. Did, did you hear about where he got shot? No. 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 Have you, have you talked to him at all? No. I haven't talked to him, period. I called his phone with no answer, so I figured something happened. How something had to happen. How did you find out that? Uh, my daughter called me. She said, Mom, try to call his phone. I don't even have his number. I called with no response, so I knew it was something wrong. Yes. So, hopefully, he's okay. And I know where it's going from there. I know where it's going from there. Where is it going? He's going to jail. That's where he's going. I don't understand why she let him keep coming back in her home and she know how he is. He's the breadwinner of their relationship. That's why she let him come back. It's bad. It's all bad. It's not good. So he needs to stay away from her, period. Because something going bad happen in his relationship and it's not going to be good. Do you, do you think whatever happened was, was his fault? Well, more, more. More to say, it could be her fault. It can be his fault. I don't know who fault it was. Yeah, so I hate this, and I would like for their relationship, whatever they call it, to end, because it's not worth it. Somebody going to get hurt bad. Somebody going to lose their life over this, and it's bad. And I hate to say that because I'm his mom. So... Is it, do they, uh, is it his house or her house? Or? It's her house. She on Section 8. It's her house. Okay. Okay. Yes. And when Section 8 find about this, she's going to lose her home because of him. She's going to lose her home for her kids. They doing this bad things in front of her kids. And his kids involved. Y'all not thinking about the kids at all, period. And it's sad. How many kids? Uh, I think she had three boys. Three little boys, and I just, I just want everything to end between them two, for somebody get hurt real bad. I always told her to leave him alone, to leave him. If things not going good with both of y'all, y'all need to leave each other alone. Why? Keep going back to each other, and you know it's bad for you and your kids. Why? And look what just happened here today. It needs to end. This bad relationship needs to end today. Thanks.